Hello everybody, my name is Jonathan with Jigsaw Financial Peace, Financial Coaching. We're gonna quickly go over every dollar app where you can track all your transactions and all your income to ensure that you stay on point with your money. Let's check it out. So first, if we go to Ramsey Solutions website page, you can come here to get on every dollar and you can go to create your free account. You'll be prompted to enter an email, a password, and you'll go to create account. You'll then go with Rachel Cruz. She'll give you the introduction of everything about every dollar. And then you are left to your devices and start on your own. So let's get to it. So here we have September's every dollar budget. How does this look? All right, so let's go through it real quick. Here we have a way to upgrade to premium. We'll go through what premium gives you. You can select what month we're going to budget on. We can look at the summary, transactions, tracked, deleted, and the account. If you have a premium membership, you can actually connect your account so that every dollar tracks transactions for you. And then you just come in here and give it its proper category. Here on the left, we got the actual budget, a premium function for paycheck planning, goals, roadmap, insights, and ask a coach. Those are all premium features, non-premium features, Ramsey pros, and learning the help center settings and your actual profile. So let's go through these real quick. Paycheck planning, premium feature. It'll actually instruct you to break down planning out your paychecks. Goals, they help you set up goals and achieving those goals. Roadmap, following the seven baby steps that they teach. Insights, what all your spending, monthly income, where's it all going and where you should probably focus more your budget on. Ramsey Pros, giving you referrals to people who they trust to give you the best information and the best suggestions on what to do with your money from insurance to investing. Learning, you can go with uh, Jade Warshaw where she will teach you some basic stuff like how to set up a sinking fund and customize your budget. Where there are some premium instructional videos such as the bank disconnections, add and track income with Bank Connect, which those are generally premium features anyways. All right, let's get back to the budget. First, we're going to go from big picture to small. So first we have categories. How to create a category. Come down here, you add a group, boom. It's untitled right here at the bottom. You can title it and now you have a new category. If you want to get rid of this category, when you go to rename it, you'll see on the right side, delete group and you can delete that category. Boom, gone. So you have a long category, a lot of home subcategories. You don't want to be seeing all of that. Collapse it if you are done looking at all the stuff for your home. Collapse it and you only have one category to look at and let's say you need to move it. If you want to put home below food, you could simply grab it at these six dots and you can pull it down. And only when that area is shaded right here will it drop in that area. If it doesn't highlight or if it doesn't shade that area, such as if I want it to go here and it's no longer highlighted, Highlighted, it won't go there. It'll go right back down to where it was. You can do the same thing with subcategories. Say you want trash below the mortgage and rent. Just bring trash, simply grab at the six dots, drop and play, drop and play. Next, under categories, you have subcategories. So let's look at giving. Let's say you not only give to a church, but you also give to a charity. Pick your charity. There you are. Now you have a subcategory to your category of giving. How do you get rid of this? Same thing, you click the title, and out pops to the left side, the trash bin. Click it, no longer giving to charity. So those are basic categories and subcategories. So let's actually mess with some of the money that we get every month. Let's say that we get a, an increase an in income to $6,000. Now we have up here $500 left to budget. We come down here, let's go out with food, let's add $70 to take out. And as you can see, it still says we have $460 left to budget. Let's actually add some more to the debt. So now we have planned to put that 460 in the capital one by $552. Now we are back to an every dollar budget. Everything is accounted for for $6,000. And if you ever wanna come down here and change things, for planned, you simply click the planned column and change however much you are planning to put in there and put it in a different category. You can always look up to the top left to show you how much money you have left to budget. Now let's go into the summary. The summary is basing off the income that you give at the very beginning, taking the average income of a household, 5,500, and then laying it all out. So we've already filled out all these categories and it actually shows you the totals. And then what percentage of these totals are taking out of your income? 
such as debt. Right now, this individual's budget is taking out 20% of their monthly income to pay towards debt. Then you can also look at spent. What so far this month has been spent on each of these categories? And then you wanna know what's remaining. After I've put in all my receipts or tracked on my phone, everything that's gone in there, what do I have remaining? Can I make it to the end of the month? Do I need to shuffle things around? You can look at that by looking at the remaining funds in those categories. Now let's go into transactions. To create a new transaction, you'll come down here, click that add transaction button. You'll come up here to add the expense. You'll add the expense, say $20. Where did the money go? Say Walmart. And you can then choose what the budget item falls under. Let's say groceries. Very well, groceries, track expense. Tracked, $20. And if we go back to summary, we see that we now have $20 spent in food. From the $780, now have 760 remaining. Go back to another transaction. Let's make another one. Now let's do split transactions. You go to Walmart and you get food and clothing. Let's say we spent $80 on this run. Where did you spend it? Walmart again, good standard. You spend it for groceries and you spend it on clothing, basic clothing. It'll ask you to tell the transaction what the split is. So we spent $20 groceries and it tells you what the remaining is. So you don't have to go and do the math yourself, $60. But I'm gonna to stick to easy math, boom, track the expenses. Right now it tracks the expense as the total that was spent. So if we go over to summary, we look at spent, we see that we have some in the food and some in the clothing. And that's all from one transaction. So you don't have to make multiple transactions from a single receipt or a single purchase. After transactions, you can also go back and see what you've deleted. And now for the accounts, that's if you get the premium version and you want every dollar to track transactions going in and out of your bank. All right, that is all all of the basics for the budget. And the great thing is you can have this tracked on your phone, you can have this tracked on your desktop, and all the devices that are connected to this account track each other's transactions, the summary, and it'll track all of this on all the devices that are connected to the account. That is every dollar by Ramsey Solutions. Go out there and find a way to budget. If this one suits you, do it. If another one suits you, do it. Just find a way to budget to keep track of your money, tell your money where to go. Um, without a plan, there's not a clear road to travel on. So this has been Jonathan with Jigsaw Financial Peace, helping you find your financial peace. Until next time, have a good one.